All right, so I had made this little PWM doohickey um, earlier. I kind of changed it around. Before I had a, a boost driver taking four volts. Um, that four volt battery was driving this little module, which was also providing a four volt signal, just a flat four volt output signal. Um, and I had the boost circuit um, serving as my power, my input power that I could vary from 4 to 30 volts. So I basically had a little um, transistor switch in there that was being driven at that variable voltage, being told how to switch with that 4 volt signal. <clears throat> and um, while that worked for pretty much um, any, any size load I was using at the time, um, it, it worked about the same with a 2N3055 as it did with an IRF510. Um, but then I noticed when I tried to run um, heavier loads, the whole intention was to be able to use this to, if I wanted to, you know, maybe push about 10 amps, drive a uh, pulse width modulate, drive a heavy duty motor. <clears throat> and um, at any rate, I, I tried some and they weren't working. But I noticed it was just the voltage I was driving the gate. And um, I just kind of wanted to mention that. Um, so what I did here was I, I changed this around to where this boost circuit now is now varying the output signal voltage. And now I've just got this little separate deal here that's just a MOS, that's an IRF <clears throat> 640N, IRF 640N that is in there. Um, so that is being told to switch with the square wave output of this module which is now being has a variable uh, signal on the volt or v voltage on the signal between around 4 and 30 so this is I found to be pretty nifty to where if I want to use this for varying, varying transistors MOSFETs you know which have different uh, gate voltages and thresholds and whatnot then this would be handy for that so this is basically what I have here um, that down there is just a, a separate uh, power supply I put together with another uh, boost circuit so um, right now we've got about 9 10 volts that is feeding into the MOSFET so that 10 or so volts is going to be driving this semi heavy duty little motor here um, with uh, this signal being told or telling it how to switch so, <clears throat> what I wanted to show basically was, so if I cut it on now, you'll see it, it's going pretty pretty slowly. The duty cycle is way down there at 20%, 150 hertz. Um, but my gate voltage right now, you can see, is about 6.2. So I just want to show what happens when I bring it down closer to about Arduino output or the voltage of that battery I was driving with originally. So it does about fine until you get it down. See, at 5 volts, it doesn't have the oomph. It's not switching that MOSFET with the oomph it needs. And this is what my problem was. Um, it wasn't until I upped that gate voltage to about 6 volts or higher uh, making sure not to go above 8 or so, which is what I believe was the specs for this MOSFET, um, then I was able to get my, my full power. So you can see, I mean, just from this example, it does not want to drive it. But if I up the gate voltage just a little bit, so about about let's just say about six now we've got action so I'm, I'm basically um increasing the amount of amperage i can have flowing through this switching um which is necessary so i don't know i for some reason that four or five or so volts was actually not enough either to uh pull enough load through a 2n3055 which I had always thought five was more than enough, uh, but I was wrong, uh, apparently. Um, but just, you know, here's an example. If you're using the five volt output from an Arduino to directly switch a uh, MOSFET, it might not work uh, for high power applications. I guess this is why I've seen some people use a, a smaller NPN to um, uh, 
switch the gate on a MOSFET and using the, you know, the power rail, you know, step down to something closer to, to five or six volts, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, I was, I was always told you could drive it straight from the Arduino output. And judging from that, I assumed around four volts would have been also fine. According to the spec sheets of some of these transistors I've tried, it should have been fine. But apparently, um, I just wasn't getting the oomph. I wasn't getting the oomph unless I was driving in above six volts or so. So you can see at this level, I'm totally fine until I get to about five volts on the dot. I have to get, I have to get over five volts. Above five volts. And you see above that five volts, I'm able to push way more power through there. So just an example, this is what I've noticed. IRF 640N. It's very handy for me to have this variable um, signal or variable variable voltage on the signal output um, just isolated from the power. Uh, so you can see that's basically what I've going on, got going on here. So with with a little module like this, I think, which is pretty cool, I can more or less um, swap out varying um, MOSFETs in here for whatever my power needs are, and then from there just adjust the uh, you know the voltage that I'm sending to the gate. You know, some need more, some need less. So I thought that was pretty handy.